All right, today we're going to be talking about old TVs and RF modulators. So this is my TV. Um, it's quite old. And if we actually flip it around here, hang on a second. If we flip it around here, you'll see that the only way to hook it up to anything is through this RF jack, uh, basically what you'd plug a TV antenna into. So how do you get it, hook it up to, you know, newer things? Well, you use a modulator. All right, this is an RF modulator. Um, basically, it goes from your composite video and audio to a RF signal. Um, that's radio frequency. And that's basically what um, TVs use. That's what TV signal is. It's a high frequency, basically, so they can transmit it. And a lot of old TVs only have that. Alright, here's the actual RF cable. Um, you'll notice that it's only one cable basically, whereas with the composite it's usually at least two. Um, it will be mono, mono audio, but yeah, basically you're sending audio and video through one cable. Alright. The way that modulation actually works is honestly pretty complicated, uh, but for this video, think of it as basically you're altering the radio signals uh, to be able to transmit information. And if you think about it like that, it's actually very similar to what like an actual radio does. Um, you'll remember there's two main kinds of radio, AM and FM. Um, yeah. FM. Uh, basically, those are two different methods of modulation. Um, so I have some wavelengths drawn out here, or some waveforms. These are radio waves. Uh, AM radio stands for amplitude modulation. That's basically changing the wave height in order to transmit information. FM is frequency modulation, and that's changing the actual wavelength. And in a TV, uh, for a TV signal, you're actually doing both at the same time, and that's how you're able to carry both audio and video through one cable. So then basically what this thing does is take your regular audio and video signal and convert them all the way up into a radio frequency, uh, radio signal basically, that is the same that your TV would get from an antenna or something. All right, so now we have it hooked up. Turn the TV on, and it's hooked up to this DVD player. And you can see that as this warms up, now it's connected through the RF cable. All right, so this thing is uh, its own specialized unit, but there's actually other ways to do this too. Like here's an old VCR, and you can see that it actually basically has its own modulator in it. Um, it can connect to the TV through the RF, uh, you can also connect an antenna to it and pass through basically. Um, obviously that's just so it can connect to old TVs like this one. It's also got a uh, composite in and out so it can basically modulate uh, stuff on its own. Now I found that you can't hook a DVD player up through this and modulate it. I think that's actually some kind of like copy protection thing, so you can't burn a DVD, or you can't, uh, sorry, copy a DVD onto a VHS tape. But other than that, you should be able to run stuff through one of these. And now I have this little computer hooked up um, with this device to go from HDMI to AV. You can really convert anything into anything if you really try hard enough. <laughs> and now we got YouTube on the old TV for not really sure why, but you can. There's a video of my friend Michael. And you can see that, yeah, if you run everything through this big rat's nest, you could hook anything up to this. Anyway, that is my video about 
RF modulators and how to hook up stuff through the RF jack on an old TV.